Howdy Cardies, weekly walkabout time at the Collector. Got some damn cool stuff this week, toys, books and ephemera, plus heaps of other stuff. Nice old Popeye tin over the back. I like the little Lehman uh, bobsled toy. He's cool, a little toy there, a little guy pulling along his cart. These are a nice old set of uh, opium weights, scales, watches, nice little Griffiths tea stirrer over the back. Some nice costume. There you go, Witch of His Tribe, fantastic little comic. Jolliffe, nice silver. And fantastic little tin toy there. He dances around and everything like that. Great little thing. I just can't remember the name and who made it at the moment, but it'll be in the catalogue. What else have we got? A train light. There you go. Nice little bits of occasional furniture. Kind of like these Art Nouveau mirrors. The Four Seasons. I don't know, you can't see them, but there's, once again, pictures on the website. A couple of nice little deco lamps. A couple of cool old skis over the back. There's a nice little sort of cottage-style chairs. Bob and turn legs and the rest. Cedar chest. What else have we got? Some Betty Page postcards. A little lot of sort of silver and gear in here. Australian Grand Prix key rings. Some interesting sort of shipping ephemera. Die casts. A lovely photograph album. There's heaps of photos on the website of some of the stuff throughout. Really cool album. Uh, what else have we got? Black and white whiskey. A nice barrel. And Ballarat birdie mirror. Books. Fishing gear, uh, sort of military aviation gear down the bottom. Heaps more clothes. Looks like a little lady's ocelot fur jacket there. Some more minks. Some kind of cool band shirts. Collingwood footy jumper. Eric Planensec. 230 Brunswick Street. There you go. Heaps of Lego and kids' toys. Good box of records. Oz Pottery. More books. More sort of groups, battery charges and other stuff. This is all footy gear. Lego sort of friends shop display. Audio visual. Nice little Akai stereo system. Boxes of books. More train gear. Some good ephemera in this little box lot. Toys and other stuffs. Really good Morant's turntable. Big group lot of stuff up on top of the table. I kind of like these 70s wooden carved llamas. <laughs> what else? Big, big dining suite, sort of Tudor style. It's a nice cedar hall stand. What else? Boxes of stuff down under the table. Boxes of books. Some pictures. Mark was flicking through these before. <laughs> and that one actually frightened him. It's made out of like carpet or something. <laughs> really kind of cool. What else have we got? More Philips stereo systems. Little radiogram there, more books, occasional furniture, more stereo gear, more books, some plants and a plant stand, remote control car and sort of dress up stuff and a hall table, audio visual gear, chickens, board games, blokey stuff, old Eugene hair dryer. Cool big sort of print of a photograph of a boat off cows. These are a nice little nest of three or a set of three sort of mid-century tables. No branding on them. Look to be sort of Tessa or someone like that. Same with a little chair. No branding. Good thing. Good Sony stereo. Really like these pair of poker work vases. You know, like sort of a classical couple there and a couple of girls as well. Really nicely done. 1920s, 30s. Like that stuff. Reckon it's overlooked as a sort of medium. Bottles of classic vintage car bottles of wine. We've got some paperwork to go with them, plus a couple of other bottles, including Kingston Town. More nice little sort of mid-century tables. Lovely big Italian lamp base. She's nice, the Barsoni style girl. She's got Italy underneath, made in Italy. West German, great little Astor radio. Really like this, the 1984 Nord Mende TV with a sort of fold-out speakers on the front on a stand. Cool thing. Great little 1956 Astor portable black and white TV. Fantastic big West German vase. What else have we got? The Kasala dining suite. Some nice paintings this week. 
Kind of like this little Mark Scheller watercolour. It's part of the raw, raw group of artists. This is nice as well. Little Herbert Clark Simpson watercolour of Flame Tree up far north Queensland. Uh, Max Thomas watercolour of Mountville, Queensland is a nice thing as well. Kind of like this. Brother Michael Colmsill or Colmkill. Lovely big landscape. He's a good painter. Doesn't sell, doesn't sell for much. Okay, more stuff in the sort of shelving units, pottery games, World War II books, more toys, sort of Lego stuff, bicycle seats and a sword, rain and pottery, Barbie and the rockers over the back there, what else, mirrors, another big box of Barbies, good little stereo, this is a good lot, all the old screen news, sort of teenage fan magazines and books, another big box of Barbies. Cool little lot of records, some interesting stuff in amongst, model kits, clock, gumball machines, pretty cool Connex enamel no smoking sign, great little cassette deck with a sort of spin around speakers, pretty kind of cool, like 3D sound, another good lot of records, I run butterfly, little phone, cassettes, little sort of kids read along cassettes, talking view master, this is Gem and the Holograms, uh, Ephemera, Books, Bears, Footy Gear, a doll, a phone. That guy. <laughs> Bentley sales brochure, which is bloody pretty amazing, actually, when you have a flick through that. Good little lot of Lesneys, Models of Yesteryear. Signed goodie book, signed by Bill Oddie. Pretty cool big Tonka truck, some Lego. Duplo display as well. I don't know what a cow and a chicken's doing on the roof, but anyway. Another big enameled Connex sign. This is called the Retro Lamp. No marks. We reckon it's Italian. Lovely book. Uh, Cyclopedia of Australia by Blair. It's a little bit cactus. Fortunately, we've put it with a nice little signed J.H. Spooner print. Nice 1979 Vic Bitter Mirror. Cindy Gear. Easy Built Set. McPherson's Catalogues. What's in this box? A little lot of sort of tea ephemera, bushels tea stuff. Uh, yeah. What else have we got? Some cool comics and mechanics sort of books. People magazines, trains, cars. There you go, Austin Powers. How's his hairy chest? Look at it. Huh? What else have we got? Good box on Australian modern sculpture and pottery. Speaking of modern Australian pottery, we like this thing. There's no marks on it. It looks sort of like Egyptian sgraffito design. Nice big lump. Got an American Army helmet. Another nice clock. Sink the Bismarck. Cool lot of lobby cards. Keep flat this side up. What's in there? Oh, Meccano stuff. Rock and roll gears. The front of an old National Cash Register. Kids records. Nice big book. Uh, service station motor mechanics manual. First edition. Looks like we've got some more die casts in there. Box die casts, small McPherson's catalogue, first Rolling Stone single, heaps of game and watches, they've all got their bloody battery covers missing, which is a bastard. There you go, pretty cool Barago Corvette, Bendigo, Hoffman, Dinky, another good little lot of records, some gaming sort of gear, Mega Blocks, and some other dudes. Ewok, Wicket the Ewok, Tell the Time Clock, another couple of records. Nice old bike seat, nice old clock, Annie Oakley, giddy up. More lobby cards, Led Zepp, three albums, all in really good condition. He's a nice Ranieri, Australian pottery vase, bit unusual. These are Pink Floyd poster inserts out of an album. Beatles, Magical Mystery Tour, but I think it's done by the World Record Club. I think it's a sort of rare oppressing. A couple of nice bits of glass. Big heckless uh, cardboard advertising sign over the back. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the what's it worth. There he is, Branko the Acrobat. And flies around. Some early phantoms in this lot. Number 700, I reckon there's a number 100 and something in amongst here. Oh, I know there is somewhere in the auction. Some good early phantoms. Another nice doll, a couple of albums by Finch, Australian band. Bagatelle's nice, auto card sort of art deco cover, another nice big sort of poster, nice little Lency doll I'm pretty sure she is over the back, 
little monkey. What's in here? Nice old photographs and negatives and stuff. Oceanic Steamship Company, other cool shipping ephemera. Nice little model boat. Akadaka High Voltage LP, which I'm pretty sure is the first pressing with the kangaroo on the actual label. More comics. Bluey and Curly. A young Man in an Alcan. Nice book on McRobertson. Some more nice sort of ephemera. Now, so we got a little Costa Boda figure. Italian glass, those little English, little as new sort of 1950s pails of rip rippers. And some nice bits up the top. Search for the Golden Boomerang, great book. Piranha LP, rare as hen's teeth. Hot Wheels off road pack, eight off the highway vehicles. It is still sealed up. Couldn't find another one of them. Did a bit of digging around the other day. It's a nice little Sydney pottery vase. A little made in Japan Barsoni style girl. Great little trotter toy. Ever ready truck. Pretty sure he's a dinky, isn't he? Yep, he's a ripper. This is a good little bit. You don't see this stuff kicking around every day. This is a Guy Gray Smith pottery bowl. Fantastic Western Australian painter. I reckon this is like the third bit of pottery I've ever seen by him. Unusual bit over the back as well. It's unmarked. We think it's probably Pates. Sydney Harbour Bridge trough vase. Great little TV. Whistling Rufus toy. There, the early Phantoms. I think that one on the front's number 187 or something. Great little Mickey Mouse beach bucket there from the 1950s. Sort of Big Kiss fold-out poster from TV Week. Hey, there's some kind of cool stuff this week, guys. It's not all just toys, books and ephemera. There's some other good bits and bobs as well. Hopefully we'll see you on Thursday night. It's going to be a grandes webita.